The dream of rockets and space shuttles flying to and from Mars isn't the only card on Tesla's deck. Green cars shuttling our roads to help mitigate the effects of excessive carbon dioxide emission is in there too. Is Tesla inching closer to getting complete approval to start mass production for the public at the Giga Berlin plant? If so, what will that be? In today's video, we review the latest update on the Giga Berlin progress so far. It has been reported that passenger cars produced approximately 3 billion metric tons of carbon dioxide emissions worldwide in 2020 alone. And going electric isn't any longer a choice, but a necessity if we want a fighting chance against global warming. The Tesla expansion to new territories, in this case, Giga Berlin, hasn't been without challenges like clearing remnants of unexploded bombs from the Second World War, environmental concerns about the forest and wildlife in the proposed site, complicated water provision and bill payment issues, local unions' agitation over the factory's recruitment and workforce modalities, are to name but few. You can watch this video if you are yet to catch up on that. Everything about Giga Berlin opening, Giga Berlin Tesla review. The automobile company did well addressing these challenges as usual. With safety checks and compliance the topmost priority of the German authorities, this has been the cause of numerous postponements and production delays experienced so far, but it seems that's about to change in the coming months. So far in the Giga Berlin update, the odds favor Tesla churning its EVs off the assembly line for the public. However, the final approval for the commencement of the Giga Berlin project hasn't been given yet. But reports indicate that the approval might come for production to begin in March 2022. This new schedule might notably delay and make the company fall behind its counterpart, the much larger Giga Texas, expected to start vehicle production soon. The recent Ukraine-Russia saga might even be one of the odds in favor of the factory's opening speed. More on that in a bit. Do the deep crimson, abyss blue, and mercury silver metallic colors ring a bell? These are the three color options of the Giga Berlin factory for the upcoming Model Y vehicles, which were leaked last year in October. The best part is that a local Giga Berlin observer, Tobias Lind, reported citing 33 possibly locally manufactured model Ys parked outside the factory on Wednesday, January 5, and some 12 models transported some days earlier. However unofficial these reports may be, Tesla fanatics can't be wrong. The love for the electric car manufacturer is so deep nothing can betray that love. Romeo and Juliet kind of love, you know. On that note, how many Tesla fans are here with us? Please click the like button. So we see you, wink wink. The traffic light signal was quite unequivocal when discussing Tesla's Giga Berlin project as an example of why Germany needed to develop a much more efficient system that could allow permitting procedures to be completed at a quicker pace. Anyway, the traffic light is the nickname given to Germany's current government coalition, which comprises the Social Democratic Party of Germany, SPD, the Free Democratic Party, FDP, Alliance 90 of the Greens, in a statement to Handel's Black, Social Democratic Party politician Matthias Stein was advocating how the authorities should simplify planning law to expedite investment projects, such as Tesla's Gigafactory in Grunade, an excessive bureaucracy kept to the minimum. Like the support the international stage is giving Ukraine at the moment, Daniel Faust of the Free Democratic Party re-echoed the position of Matthias Stein when he said, the FDP is up for anything that speeds up and simplifies the procedures and is not at the expense of third parties. We also need to become more flexible during the process and construction. It is not surprising the Greens also followed suit with their ecologically friendly German economic agenda. The idea of anything green has a natural magnetic pull on the Alliance 90. So yes, with the advancement on Ukraine by Russia, fuel provision, and its surrounding inconveniences are about to become an absolute nightmare. So electric cars and stakeholders of sustainable energy like Tesla will be needed in the front line. This is big Tesla news. And so if Germany has that, why delay things further? It's expected that Tesla would have had to pay a bit of a price in various forms for doing business in new territories. New king, new laws. But it is worth the wait. Tesla doesn't want a bag of lawsuits resulting from rushed safety checks and compliance processes. 
We keep our fingers crossed, waiting on the big news. And so, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, this will be a great time to do so, as we have much more coming your way, and you don't want to miss out on the latest updates. See you at the front seat in our next video.